Hello, Zero K okay, fans. This is Shadow Fury three three three, and welcome to Nanalays at Dawn. Today is going to be mostly a normal exhibition stream, but there is a bit of a twist. There has been a challenge put off by Snugglebase, the Noob versus Pro challenge. The challenge is that you have person with high elo and low elo. Person with high elo is forced to only use raiders, but the other person can use whatever they want. So. In this case, Flipstep is the high elo person. They are forced to use raiders. Stuart, however, can use whatever they want. With the exception of air. No one's allowed to use air. I'm not entirely sure why, but yeah. There are a couple other exceptions too, but the main thing to keep in mind is raiders. Flipstep's going to be using entirely raiders, and Stuart can use whatever they want to win. Or try to win. So, let's proceed. We're on Tartarus, which is probably one of the maps... I mean, as far as... Factories go. It supports spiders probably the best, but neither player going for that. Flips are going for light vehicles instead. Wants to attack very quickly, while Stuart going for shield bots. I'm not sure if they're going to try to terraform up to this area here, or if they're just not going to worry about it at all. But at this point, they are going to be going for a much more aggressive strategy than I would personally go for. But that's just me. I like to expand in this map quite a lot because these, this southeast section or north, northwest for the north player, if you're playing spiders, that is awesome to have. That's a wonderful thing to have, but they're not playing spiders, so there's no point really dwelling on that. Flipstep going for this four score to rush. Looks like they're going to go for a very quick calm dive. Stewart is not at all prepared for this. I think that's... Yeah, they're probably going to just lose this. Yeah, I think Stewart. Do they have any defenses? No, they have no defenses coming up yet. They have a couple, couple bandits. That's about it. One Lotus, which will actually help a little bit, but I don't think it'll be up in time. Stewart is not prioritizing the Lotus, not deprioritizing the factory, not prioritizing the commander, so they are splitting resources. This Lotus should have been up by now. It should only take nine seconds if it was fully prioritized. But it got up in time. Just barely got up. Very clutch. Should save the commander. Bit hard to say that that commander is still on. No, that commander is dead. Despite the Lotus, the commander just barely gets killed. Extremely close. Not the best micro on the bandits, and that Lotus could have been up sooner so the, bandit, so the commander could have a chance to move away. In fact, two Lotuses could have been built in the time that one Lotus was built if that factory had no production going on in that time. And Stuart, while they did go for the production and they got bandits, should have put some of the bandits back to help defend to finish off those Scorchers. That's the thing, Whenever you, whatever you build, like bear in mind, especially this early in the game, you and your opponent probably have the same resources. So, if you and your opponent have the same resources, that means that whatever you do, you have to actually do it. In this case, if you build a bunch of units, you need to use those units. Stuart going for a bit of a desperation play. I mean, they're, it's, they're clearly very desperate. They want to get some sort of revenge, maybe get rid of Flipstip's commander. At this point, Stuart is half the economy and not much to really build up with. Convict is going to take a sweet time to build up, and they already have another one, so they can at least get some metal. But even then... And even with the efficiency of the metal extractors on this map, actually it's not that efficient. There's a 2.6 they're going for, which I can see why. It is very efficient. But at this point, there's not much Stuart can really do. Like, dealing with a couple Scorchers here and there is all well and good, but they're not going to be able to hit much. This metal extractor is about the only one that's relatively vulnerable. Otherwise, there's not much that's really a threat. Why is this... What is this doing? Oh, the factory is at high priority. Typic okay, that's... I mean, this is desperation time, so I can kind of see why Stuart would do that, but... I would... I would highly... I would just... No. Just... I greatly disagree with this. That factory should be on mid, if not low priority, just to allow this constructor to actually build the bloody... Metal Extractor. They need to build that Metal Extractor now. And it looks like that's exactly what's happened. So at least Stuart knows they need to build that up, because if they have the Metal Extractors, then they can build more stuff. And build it faster, because Flipstep has the stronger economy, and that's going to win them the game. Stuart, having the much weaker economy, having lost their commander, and with it half their economy, they need to get that back ASAP. Tricky to do, I know, but still, they need to get it back ASAP, because that is the only way they're going to get back in the game. At this point, at least, they're at the point where they can build... Not even then, they have their energies down. That's the problem. They're, they're kind of dead. They really are dead in the water. So, that sucks. And they realized that, throwing in the towel, so that was game one. There's actually three games they played in a row. So I'll be going over that. That'll be tonight's thing. It'll be Flipstep and Stuart98 fighting against each other on three different maps in this challenge. So Flipstep takes the first game, and 
We'll see what happens in the later games if Stewart manages to find a way to get back in. As long as they protect their commander, that's going to help out a lot, because that was a huge blow early on. With that situation, it's just, it's very hard to come back from. And it was a very clutch thing, kind of messed up on them. But yeah, that, I'm sure they'll learn from that for the next game. So the next game that they played was on Geyser Plains. So that will be up in just a moment. Stay tuned.